All right, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna take a closer look at setting environmental variables. So an environmental variable is a variable that's specific to an environment. So if I was to run a piece of code that retrieves an environmental variable, well, that's gonna return a different value on someone else's system, you know, depending on whatever they have set for that environmental variable. So here we have our OS package, short for operating system, and this is the get EMV function, which is short for get environmental variable. And it's going to take a key. So whatever the key is for that environmental variable, so you have a key and a value. So if I hand it this particular key, it should return the value for that particular key. Uh, anyway, so in review, uh, go root is where um, the root of our Golang API is. So when you went to golang.org and you uh, downloaded it and then get downloaded uh, Golang and then installed it wherever you installed it to, that's where you would want to set your Go root um, environmental variable for. Uh, and anyway, uh, Go Go path is just basically the root of our workspace. So whatever folder we created uh, to place all of the uh, packages that we're going to be working on, you know, that's where you want your Go path pointing to. So anyway, let's go ahead and run this. All right, as you can see, go root is in the the value that was returned for that environmental variable was at the C drive at slash go. That's where I have I went I have I am the one who set this. You know, I installed it, so I had to go ahead and set those environmental variables. I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. And we have our go path, which is a C drive, users, username, OneDrive, Go code. Now notice here that go proverb doesn't actually show anything. And we did this on purpose. This is to show you that if you do not have an environmental variable set for something and you try and retrieve it, well, you're just gonna get back an empty string. So let's go ahead and take a look at setting environmental variables. So I'm just gonna go down to my search, search bar here, put in EN for environmental variables. Okay, edit the system environmental variables. So go ahead and click on that. It's gonna pop up this window right here. And I want to go down here, make sure you're on the advanced tab, and we want to click on environmental variables. Again, that's going to pop up a new window. And here we're going to have two different sets of environmental variables. We're going to have user variables and we're going to have system variables. So a user variable is specific to that particular user. So when you log on, you should be the only one who has access to these variables. So, and it's good to have both of these. So for instance, let's say if you had a class of uh, students and you wanted them all to have access to the, a couple of the same environmental variables, well, you could go ahead and set that in the system environmental variables. And so anyone who logged on uh, would have access to those. Now, on the other hand, let's say if you wanted to save a password to your database and you didn't want to share that with everybody, well, you could put that in the user variables and it won't be shared with everybody. So. Um, but on the other hand, if you did put it down in the system variables, well, other people could get access to it and that would be a problem. But anyway, we have, uh, as you can see, two variables here already. We have our go path and we have the value for that. So we have a key and we have a value. And this one is just at that path that, that we set earlier. And we have our go root and then just you know where we have our API installed. So anyway, Let's go ahead and create our new variable. Okay, so I clicked on new under user because I'm the only one using the system. I don't need to give access to anyone else to this anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and put go proverb. And let me go ahead and grab that. All right, design the architecture, name the components, document the details. And we're going to hit OK. And we can go ahead and hit OK. Uh, just as a heads up, if you wanted to add extra, uh, more than one value for each one uh, for a particular variable, you'd put a semicolon in between the different values. Um, like, for instance, in GoPath, you know, if I wanted to you know, if I wanted another workspace, I don't recommend that at all. You know, I could put a semicolon in that other one. 
Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and OK. And OK again. Now, here's uh, something about the terminal. Now, when you open up the terminal, it's going to go lo load in or you know have access to a bunch of system variables. But being I just set one, if I run this right now, it's not going to know that new variable that I just set. Um, funny thing with this, if I go ahead and close the terminal out without closing uh, VS Code, maybe it's just a VS Code thing. Say, for instance, open a new terminal. Uh, it's still not going to find it. As you see, it can't find it. So if you're using VS Code, um, if you're using a terminal, you should be able to just close it out. But if you're using uh, VS Code, just go ahead and close it out all the way. Uh, go ahead and open it back up. Sometimes it's just easier to show people how it doesn't work. Save, uh, hopefully, someone's frustration out there. So let's get back to where we were at. And let's go ahead and run it. So this should have brought in all the system, all the new system variables, including our Go proverb. All right, there we go. Go proverb. Design the architecture, name the components, document the details. So, anyway. Um, that's how on Windows, anyway, how you set your environmental variables. So there's a lot of use for this. Just remember, um, for instance, if you're putting something up on GitHub, using something like this to store a password so you don't have to let other people know their password. Plus, um, people are going to notify you if you accidentally put a password up on there, um, even if it's an example one. Um, but anyway, uh, I hope that was helpful. hope that helps some people uh, you know, set, that, uh, set that easier. Um, Sorry, I don't have uh, uh, Mac or Linux, um, but there's some pretty good tutorials out there. But hopefully it was helpful. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.